What's going on YouTube? It is Mr. Lego 104 here and my computer camera is shaking. Um, sorry I'm recording this. Uh, today we're going to be doing the clone effect in Photoshop CS6. You can do this in any version of Photoshop. I just have the newest version. It really doesn't matter which one you're using. Um, so I'm just opening up Photoshop. Uh, by the way, this is a post-production audio over voice, so I screw up a couple times in the video. I'll point out when I screw up, so you know not to do what I'm doing, I guess. Uh, so yeah, let's see here. Uh, Photoshop is opening up. Uh, a little slower than normal, but I don't know. I guess that's just the way it is. So let's see here. Okay, so we're just going to drag in both photos. Uh, you're basically gonna, gonna want to take two photos with the camera in the same spot, but you in two different spots. So try not to move the camera at all, like set it up on a tripod. Alright, so I'm just dragging in both photos. First thing I'm gonna do is bring down the opacity, so you can see about what it's gonna look like, but with full opacity. See? It's gonna be sitting on top of the bed and on the ground. Now, this is where I screw up a lot. Like, a lot. Um, first mistake I made was I started to erase with the bottom layer locked, which you can't do, so you need to unlock that. Um, then, this is the second mistake I made, I started to erase the bottom layer, which you don't want to do at all. You want to erase the top layer, which you'll see I do in maybe like 30 seconds. So now I select the top layer, like I'm just like, oh, now I see what I did, but I'm erasing and I'm erasing where I erased before on the bottom layer, so that's why nothing's appearing. Um, Let's see, so now I pretty much control alt z everything I just did. Uh, command alt z if you're on a Mac. Um, so I'm just gonna redo what I did, but correctly. Uh, alt, uh, not alt, I mean unlock the layer. So now select the top layer and start to erase where the clone on the bottom layer is. Um, and you'll see it looks like it's starting to appear, but it's not actually appearing. Think about it. Think of it this way, if you have a layer on top of another layer and you start to erase the top layer, what's going to appear where you're erasing whatever's on the bottom layer? So that's what's happening right now. I'm erasing where my clone is on the bottom layer off of the top layer, so that's why it's starting to appear. Um, I hope that makes a little sense for you guys. So in theory, you could do this with like 15 or 20 clones if you want. I just don't have the time for that, so I'm doing two clones. So that's basically what you do right there. But I like my pictures to come out good when I do them, no matter how long they take, even though it's under five minutes. So I'm going to match the lighting so it looks a little good. So now I'm just erasing the bottom of the bed so it matches everything with the clone on the bottom. But I'm not going to erase the tops because I want that to match whatever's on the top with the top clone, if that makes sense. Uh, I'm trying to explain this as easy as possible. So now I'm just erasing where the bed is so the lighting matches. Let's see. Erasing around my body. Now, one thing with Photoshop, you need to remember, if you're holding down the eraser tool, you need to unclick the eraser when you're done using it, because I make a mistake you'll see in maybe like a minute. It's a really bad mistake, and I'll point it out. Um, so I'm just going to bring up the brush. This is kind of a learn from my mistakes video, almost, while I'm having the tutorial. Uh, so now I'm just erasing, because I have a bigger eraser, so it'll get done quicker, just matching the lighting. You don't have to do exactly where I'm erasing in your picture, obviously, because the lighting will be different in your picture than it is in mine. Um, so I'm just erasing. Uh, uh, yeah, there's not much to say about this. But, alright, see? Right there. That's what I'm talking about. I just erased part of my body because I forgot to unselect the eraser. So, control alt Z. Now I have a big eraser, so I can just go through what I just undid, except without erasing part of my body this time. So, that's about it. Um... I just need to match the lighting on the wall, and that's it, you guys. So, you can save your final product, go into uh, File, Save As, uh, Clone, no, uh, Clone, Shift C, I keep hitting Alt C, Shift C, Clone, uh, then save it as a JPEG. I accidentally hit JPEG 2000, whatever. Um, JPEG, and then hit save, then you can, uh, okay, then you can, uh, exit Photoshop, hit no, now I'm going to show you the original picture, okay, that was the original, and there's the after final product, original plus that, plus that, in Photoshop equals something like that, so it looks pretty cool, it looks like you're cloned, you guys, um, 
that's really all I have to say with this video. You can just drag and drop those somewhere else. And yeah, if you have any questions, don't be afraid to put them in the comment section down below. I'd love to help you guys. If you like this tutorial, uh, tell me in the comment section. I'll make more tutorials. I'm not busy this whole summer. I can do After Effects tutorials or Photoshop tutorials. I know a lot of effects, so if you have a request, I'd be happy to do it. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and comment. See ya.